afternoon. Welcome to Yarmory. Uh, welcome to what is a very mini preview show. Um, more like a chat, really, uh, than it is a preview. So, yeah, look, I've, met, I've called it time to man up in Germany because that, in my opinion, is what we need to do. We need to man up tonight. Uh, the last two games have not been amazing, have upset us in different aspects of it. Um, so, yeah, tonight, if we perform anything like that, we are in big, big trouble. Also, um, want to make a statement. So, on the reaction that we did, I'm trying to think what day we did this, uh, Sunday, uh, something was said, I didn't hear it at the time. Um, thankfully, someone came back and said that it was said, so I would like to apologise for any words that were said towards someone in the comments. I don't appreciate it. So, yeah, I do apologise that that was made. I didn't actually hear it at the time, so I was unaware. But someone who listened back and let me know, uh, appreciate them for telling me. But also, I apologise for what was said because I didn't hear it at the time. So I would have brought it up a lot earlier. Um, so, yeah. Big up to that. Uh, big up to Mr. Welch. Hope you're doing well. Uh, make or break time mentally for Arsenal. Yes. I think if we lose tonight, that's our season done. I'll be honest, because I don't think we've got the mentality to kick on for the rest of the season. I don't think, even if we if we were to lose, I don't think it would be a, men, a mental positive for us. I think it would absolutely destroy us. I think mentally, we don't have enough players that can pick themselves up and go again. I think they are more of the type of players where <clears throat> we keep getting beaten at this that time of the year and we'll get all, look at us, poor, woe is me and all that kind of stuff. I don't think we have the right type of players, unfortunately, at the club. It's, it's a bit of a shame. Um, Chris saying here, if you get past Bayern, helps you massively in running. Yes, on the flip side, I think beating Bayern will then help us progress in the season in the league. I'll be honest, I think this is as far as we will go. If we do get the quarterfinals, um, get through the quarterfinals, we will most likely uh, not get through the semis, which is absolutely fine. Um, yeah, men mentally, we don't. This is why I've said we've got a man up. This is why I've called it specifically this uh it's not an actual preview it's more of a bit of a moan i said to him uh not long ago because you just phoned me from work um said it's a bit of a mini rant today if i'm honest um because that's how i'm feeling you know i haven't had a big massive meltdown i've just had rants um because that's how i feel i feel very very annoyed um because uh, it, it it i i'm not one that's ever said that you know we're going to win stuff never said it not not going to uh that's not the way i am but it was giving me hope that we had a chance currently not a chance uh in my opinion uh chris saying arsenal and liverpool also played twice in the league before city play next game so crucial week for both yeah obviously we've got um We've got Wolves in my back garden this weekend, and then we've got Chelsea next week. Two vital games, two vital games. And the Chelsea game, I'm sorry, people, is not going to be as easy as we expect it to be. I know a lot of people think that that Chelsea game is going to be so easy. It really isn't. Um, I actually thought we were past this, and that's why I look. Uh, took Sunday so hard, yeah. It's the hope that kills you, isn't it, mate? That's what it is. It's the hope that kills you. Morning to my pod brother. Hope you're doing well, Bren. Uh, he's saying morning to everyone in the world. Thank you very much, mate. Love it on here. Um, right. So as I said, it's a it's a mini preview. So it's a mini rant as well. So what I will do, as usual, is list our injuries. <coughs> um, so Timber is a doubt now. So this is uh, important because. Um, He's not actually injured anymore, so it's a positive that he's not actually injured. So it's a case of let's see when he comes back. Let's see when he's named on the bench. That's that's our big hope at the moment is when he's not going to be put on the bench. There will be 
probably a couple of games where he plays behind the scenes. Um, you know, very similar to what we did with QPR, where we just had a close behind closed doors friendly and give him some match time. I think that will happen soon. Um, but yeah, he's he's absolutely like his injury is fine. It's more to do with match sharpness and match fitness now. So yeah, it's a positive uh, regarding Timber. Uh, Odegaard is a doubt still. However, um, it's looking optimistic that he will play tonight. But there is a little bit of a niggle. Um, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, go on to Bayern Munich. Obviously, Boy is out. Bookman's out. Komen's out. Nabry's out. He, that's a big positive for us. Saar, uh, Sane is a doubt. But in my opinion, I think he will actually probably replay tonight um i think he's been told to man up himself and get through with it uh alfonso davis is obviously suspended for his yellow card last week um right let's get into some chats uh sorry for the coughing my son's off sick at the moment so he's coughing away in the background um temi saying evening big up to you sir for saying are oh, you an arsenal fan i am a very <laughs> uh upset <laughs> emotional arse to at the moment but yeah look it, it, it is what it is being an Arsenal fan it is one hell of a roller coaster um and normally we could normally get stuck right at the top uh never get released <laughs> for the excitement part uh we just it's a constant disappointment at the moment with us uh but hey ho uh everyone's saying hello to each other love it Arsenal will want to sign a missing for me yes I think Sane is awesome. Uh, morning to everyone. I see you. Everyone's so nice. Uh, the next two will tell us if this team has a chance or if we could just... Uh, no, 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 no. Never say that word. Uh, I think for us, we, we, we need to sort our mentality out. Now, I'll get onto that in a minute um, with the team that I think we will go with tonight and pick out a few players and I'm sorry that I might upset some people but there are some players I still have question marks on uh, especially when it comes to mentality um mentality I thought was stronger than last season for the change that in my opinion yeah it was a horrendous show that was um <laughs> hello Brenny Bobby is a Carla West Ham fan uh I have a very soft touch for West Ham um but yeah it's it's more of a case of a soft touch. Uh, Carlisle is definitely all Chris. Uh, I slowly overacted when we lost, saying it, it's over realistically. I think it's a mathematically, it isn't exactly. Mathematically, I think you and Arsenal still have a chance because we're only two points away. Um, I still think Man City will drop points, um, in my opinion. And that just means that we cannot risk it. Uh, there is no challenge today. I haven't, unfortunately, I haven't got the time. Um, this is going to be quite a quick show. I really have to, don't have much time today, unfortunately. Um, I think it's over for both of us, Chris. City don't drop points at this time of season. I, I do agree they don't normally. I still think they will. Um, I just, I've got this feeling in my gut that they will drop points, and that's where we have to capitalize. Um, we can't afford to drop points. And I honestly think. Next two games, I have a horrible feeling we will drop points. Uh, Liverpool just need to score goals to get confidence back. Arsenal need to get mentality back. Yes, 100%. Um, uh, I'll be on. Oh, two seconds. I'm going to be back. Two seconds. Sorry about that, the postman came. Uh, it is what it is. Um, right, so let's get into the possible lineups tonight, which I do believe this is what both, well, I'm hoping uh, regarding Arsenal, but Bayern Munich, I think this is what they're going to go with. So, Neuer in goal, Kimmich, the lit, Dyer, uh, Mazarui, Goretzka, Lima, Sane, Musiala, Guerrero, and Kane. Now, I, I said, I think when it was when he was out of contract, I think that was last summer. I said we should have signed Conrad Lama. One, he was a freebie, um, which is always a bonus. And look, he looks very impressive. He's a tough, 
tough little crook, uh, cookie in that midfield. I think he's very, very talented. Uh, Goretzka, there's a lot of talk that he could be leaving this summer. Um, I've, I've heard that Arsenal are semi-looking at him at the moment. Kimmich, a lot is talking about him. Again, I think it's all dependent on who uh, is the new Munich manager. I think if Kimmich is not impressed, I think he'll leave. There is a possibility he could come to Arsenal because it, it, it feels quite a lot of slots that we need. So he'd feel like two slots for the price of one. So for me, it makes a no-brainer. And he has the mentality. Uh, Delict looked amazing last week. Uh, I have no issues with him, I don't think. He's a, he's a weakness. Dyer is a weakness. And that's a weakness we have to take advantage of. We have to get Saka. We have to get uh, Havertz. We have to get Jesus pushing at him. Because Dyer is Dyer. We all know this. Um, we don't know how he's in the squad, let's be honest. So, yeah. Uh, Mazarui on the, the left possible uh, to replace Davies. Now, they could obviously go uh, with Mazarui or Guerrero. Uh, at left back, but I think Guerrero will fit in for the Nabri missing and Mazarui will be filling in at left back, but he's a right back mainly um, and he's not that com comfortable as a left back either, so again Saka needs to take advantage of that uh, so we covered the midfield very, very good, now Sane we need, <laughs> this is why we got got to avoid playing Sinchenko um, Sane is a talent. Um, me and Brenny both would have taken him. Um, I take him now <laughs> because because he's a fantastic option. Um, and to be honest, I think he would literally get into our first team. Um, that's not me being hard on some people, but he is so talented. Musiala, let, let's be honest, he's he's going to go to Man City probably this summer. Um, so talented. Uh, Guerrero on the left, if that's what they do. If they don't go with Guerrero on the left and they put him at left back, I'm going to guess uh, Thomas Muller will come in. But, um, yeah, Guerrero, look, again, he's another player that I would have had. I would have signed him on a free when he left Dortmund. Um, again, I think he's talented. He, he's the type of defender that we would want because he has the, the ability to go forward and put some very good crosses in as well, um, which, to be honest, right now would actually suit us. Um, but hey ho, uh, and Harry Kane exists, uh, so we'll move on from that. Um, <laughs> let's go to Raya in goal for me. I reckon he will obviously start. White's leave with Gabriel. No chance. That's happened. that that's being changed. My call at left back is Tommy Asu. Um, I hope. This is my hope that this is what we play, is Tommy Asu. And I'm not being hard on Kivior, but Kivior is not as mobile as what um, Tommy is. I think Tommy will deal with it better. Obviously, let's be honest, this is not our first choice left back still. But he he's better than Kivior at the pace. Um, maybe not necessarily the passing. But the pace is something we we really struggled with last week. Um, so, yeah, Tommy Asu for me, I don't want to see Sinchenko anywhere near the first team. To be honest, I'd be quite happy not to see him on the bench, if I'm perfectly honest. I know it sounds mean, but I, I'm done with him at the moment. I, I need a break. <laughs> uh, Jorginho Rice, Odegaard midfield. I know that, that might surprise a few, but... I think we need a bit of hardened midfield. We need to win that midfield battle. Um, we can't have Havertz there. There's a lot of people saying, oh, let's let's do Havertz in the left centre midfield of Ravel again. No. This, no, no. He's not a left centre midfielder. Um, I know this. I've been a fan of him for many years. He, he's not a midfielder. Um, I didn't really think he'd be a very good false nine. I... I I would have preferred him either in an attacking midfielder role, uh, like a number 10 role, or even on the right. Um, so, yeah. I, I, yeah. Um, so that's my midfielder. Obviously, look, 
I don't think Partey part would have needed minutes at the weekend. He didn't get the minutes. Now, whether or not that is because Arteta is totally confident that he can cope with starting this week, I don't think so. Um, Partey still has that little bit of rustiness in his game at the moment, which we can't afford tonight uh, at all. Uh, Saka on the right. For obvious reasons, we've got literally nobody else that can uh, <laughs> fill in his role. Havertz up front, I have to I have to say that he is so good at the moment um, in that role. Um, so, yeah, for me, Havertz has to start at the top. And I'm dropping both Trossard and Martinelli. Uh, Martinelli hasn't impressed me recently, and you all know how much I love him, but he just hasn't done it for me recently. Uh, Jesus, when he came on against Munich caused them problems and he seems to have this champions league form about him um so put him on the left let's see what happens uh because for me he will cause problems um so yeah let's have a look see what people have been saying um ba -ba -ba -ba. agreed city don't drop points but never know yeah exactly never know well this is why we love football no one really knows um but yeah to so make <laughs> Make worse worse. My Leafs will play Moss's Bruins in the first round of the NHL playoffs. He's going to be unbearable. Oh dear. Uh, well, mate. All I would say is I hope your Leafs beat him. Uh, if I see Sinchenko or Le uh, Kivyot left back against Sane, then it's going to be a long night. Yeah, that's how I'm going to look at it. Um, I, I... <laughs> There was a, that, I can't remember what stream I did recently, the box along, and I was not impressed that Sinchenko was on. I think there was a moment when um, I think Zinni came on as well. Uh, my my words were just, yeah, I just, I can't cope with it. I can't. Um, you know, we all have our favourite roles that we are very protective over, and fullback is mine. Um, and I can't see Zinni being at left back anymore. I just can't. And I know everyone says you should support, and I do. I do support my team. But if someone's crap, I'm not going to support him. Um, it's as simple as that, in my opinion. Um, so, yeah, 100% Sane would walk into our VA would. No problems. Um, should Jorginho have started versus Villa? I'll be honest. <laughs> People won't like this. Uh, I probably would have started a uh, party. Um, mainly with this game in mind as well. I would have liked to have given him 60 minutes against Villa. I think I think it would have just uh, solidified that midfield a little bit better um, and given him the minutes that we could use. Because at the end of the day, we've got a lot of games coming up. We've got Wolves Saturday night. We've got Chelsea next week. Then we've got uh, Barnet FC. Um, so, you know... It, it it's we, we we need to give these people minutes because I, as I keep saying and I, I will stick with this philosophy you have to make sure they're not coming in cold and a lot of these come in cold uh, Gabriel and Saliba need to be on it tonight hundred percent those two recently have been rubbish and it's it's I, I'm saying that word. Because they've been, well, Gabriel definitely has been amazing. And the last two games, he's been awful. So it's, it's mad. Is it time to cash in on Martinelli? He's been poor most of the season. I've always thought without his pace, he wouldn't be at Arsenal. I wouldn't be against it. Um, we are looking at a winger. Um, mainly to like allow Saka to have some... <laughs> Have some rest now and then. Um, in my opinion, if we were to sell Martinez, we'd need two two wingers. Um, I don't think we'll do that. I, I want to stay away from Neto as much as possible. Um, I would I would be up for it to be honest. Um, I <laughs> a lot of people are not going to like me for this, but I would go and get Jared Bowen. Um, he's proven at Premier League level. He is multi-talented with multiple positions um so he's he's got that for you so like he could play the number nine if we needed him to he could play the right he could play the left and yeah for me i'd get go uh, jared bowen but 
that's just me. Um, but yeah, Martinelli, with how much he's worth as well, um, if it's not working, just sell him. Um, and this is where I differ from some Arsenal fans that have their favourites. I am okay with me saying that someone is just not fitting in at the club. I love Martinel. I think he's absolutely fantastic. I called him my dirty winger. And you all know why I called him a dirty winger. Because uh, he's got that little bit oomph about him sometimes. You never know what he's going to do. But then I also think that sometimes even he doesn't know what he's going to do. Uh, which, <laughs> you know, at a top club maybe isn't the best thing. Um, but with Cozier, like the, the one that's coming up, I know he knows what he's doing. And he's my new dirty winger. But Cozier at the moment, we're struggling to even keep him um, because he's out of contract in the summer. So, yeah. Um, I'll be honest, there's a massive summer ahead uh, and a lot of Arsenal fans are going to be un unhappy with certain things that will happen. Um, but it is what it is. Uh, that's business. That's football. Uh, it never goes according to plan sometimes. Uh, Bowen is a good hey, I love him to bits. Uh, I think he's brilliant. Uh, so underrated. I know a lot of people don't like him, but I think he will do a job for us. And he's got he's got that versatility about him, which I know Arteta likes. And to be honest, I think most clubs would like that because you're you're buying a player that can fit three roles. That's brilliant. I wouldn't. I'm one of these now, where if I'm going to go out and buy a midfielder. Okay, so you're a good, good midfielder. What else can you do? Oh, man, you're a good midfielder. Yeah, well, that, that takes off like some millions off your value, in my opinion. Um, like Declan Rice, he's got three roles just in him. You know, he, he is a competent centre-back. He can play the DM and he can play the left-sided midfield quite easily. Um, so for the money that we pay for him, I'm not that bothered. Um, so... Yeah, uh, obviously goalkeepers, yeah. Would I prefer that they could, like, actually play on the wing sometimes? Of course I could, but <laughs> they're goalkeepers. Um, but, yeah, I, I'm one of those where I want them to be multi-talented. Like, um, we're looking at uh, a centre-back at the moment. He, he, The one we're looking at technically could play right-back quite comfortably. Um I wouldn't say I want to see him there all the time, but he could do it comfortably. We could probably go to a three at the back if we needed to. And this is where I, I need Arteta to change just that tiny bit where we've got a plan B, plan C. We seem to fail on plan A and don't seem to do nothing about it. Um, you know, for me, we have to have more, more plans than one. Um, so hopefully we do because otherwise we are going to get in big trouble. Um, oh, hang on. Sorry, uh, Luke. I'd definitely take Bowen. Brilliant, that's a deal. We'll do it. We'll go and get him. <laughs> I reckon Liv will be up there for Bowen Edwards. Would have had him on his list previously. We like to go for players who previously linked with Salah, was an example. Exactly. I think I'll be honest, uh, Chris. I think you could have a big summer as well, but not a big one that is all going to be positive um i think you're going to i think you'll get two wingers this summer um and a midfielder and a defender so yeah but you're going to have quite a big big exodus as well uh, with clock leaving so yeah um guys if you're listening uh please do put your predictions in um i have ummed and ahed about this uh prediction <laughs> And I'm not happy that I've come to this conclusion, uh, but I think we're going to lose three one. Um, I don't think we've got enough, and this is from what I've seen in the last two games. If I hadn't seen what I'd saw in the last two games, I think we could have taken the penalties. So, if they play like they did before, we played them in the first leg. I think we got enough to take them to penalties. If we play like we have in the last two games, we're losing. It's as simple as that for me. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's going to be painful. Uh, don't forget, I will be doing the box long tonight. Um, yeah, 
Um, I think it's eight o'clock kickoff, isn't it? So look, it is what it is. Um, after the watch along, there will be a reaction. I'm going to guess that I'll be doing it tomorrow because uh, I know Gums is in France, so I will have to do a reaction tomorrow. Um, so I apologise about that, but um, it could be a late one for me tonight as well because it could go to extra time penalties as well. But So I'd rather say I'm going to do the reaction tomorrow than say, oh, I could do it tonight, but I'm going to do it tomorrow. It'd be a lot easier. Um <laughs> I wouldn't mind seeing Salah and Van Dyke leave. I think those two will leave. Um, I think... I don't know if you're going to agree with it, because you might disagree with it, but I think that's... It's bigger than the players leaving. I think it will take some confidence away from other players that will still be at the club, if that makes sense. I think because with a player like Salah, sometimes you know that you can have an off day. Um, because you can say to yourself, okay, we can have an off day. We've still got Salah. <laughs> you know, you can get a goal from nowhere. Um, so I, I think, I think next season, I think you, you've got to allow yourself a little bit of wiggle room where you might drop one or two places from where you normally are. And then I think you'll be fine the following season. I think it will, there will definitely be a transition period for you. I don't think it'll be very long. Um, but, yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, but <laughs> I'm so not, mate. <laughs> I'm so not. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> sometimes, I just want, sometimes I just want to go, <laughs> oh, I'm too poorly. Um, I, I don't feel well, but <laughs> um, you know me, I... I I don't give up um, on much longer. So I'll, I'll be there because I'll be watching it anyway. And that's the whole point of it for me is um, I do the watch alongs to keep you company, you guys to keep me company whilst we watch football together. It's basically like going around someone's and just watching the footy together. That's literally it. It just happens to be on YouTube because of how far away we are from each other. Um, so yeah, uh, I think, yeah, I think we're losing too. Uh, we've all of a sudden become error prone and you can't get away with it. Cup football, 100%. 2-1 to Bayern. Possible. Possible. Uh, Brenny being a little bit more confident. 1-1 one, one going to penalties. I can see it. I, I, I'll be honest, I think they can score more. So, I, yeah. But, yeah. Oh, it is what it is. Uh, Van Dyke not been the same since injury. Salah done all he needs to do now. Salah should build profile up even more. So, yeah, it, it, it's it's happening in it. Let's be honest. He's, he's going to Saudi. Um, two one Bayern Munich after extra time. Chris, I really do like you, but like seriously, <laughs> seriously, uh, that will that will be painful. Um, I'll be honest because if we manage to get to ninety minutes and we're still in the game. And then we lose it in extra time or penalties. That will hurt more. I'd rather lose it in the 90 minutes. I really would. Um, it's Bayern Munich, and everyone knows I'm a Dortmund fan. Um, and my Dortmund are through to the next round. Um, so, yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> right, guys, I'm done. Um, I will definitely see you later on today. Um, hope you have a great day. Enjoy the weather. It's sunny here at the moment, so yeah, hopefully this weather stays just keep my up no matter how much I like people. <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I do love you, mate. Uh, right, I, I will speak to you later. Um, enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy the weather, and I shall see you about 8 o'clock tonight. Enjoy. Bye-bye.